what we should do is to stop, to clear away this difference. The difference between a, a migrant Fulani man and a, a, Fulani, a, a settled Fulani man should be eliminated. And this can only be done by the Fulanis themselves. Jibrin Amin, when he was the Minister of Education, he introduced nomadic education. And so far, I can remember, and so much I can remember, is that is the only parastatal that has been created specifically for this disadvantaged group. And Jibrin Amin was the was and still is the only person who has given his own contributing in that regard, apart from those who were appointed as executive secretaries of the commission. Other people in other various sectors have not done so. Therefore, we are calling on them, all the Fulani elites, let them give their own quota. Let them give their own contributions. If you are in Federal Minister of Agri, if you are Federal Minister of uh, Education, wherever you are, let them come together and begin to think these people suffering, be these people that have been targeted as criminals and terrorists. By the time this genocide arrives, they are going to be the first victims because the Fulanis that are in the bush, they are in the bush. Before it reaches them, those in the town must have finished. And I equally want to stress that the Bush Fulanis are suffering because of the successes of the educated Fulanis. They don't contest election. They are not appointed ambassadors. They are not appointed as ministers. They are not, uh, you know, contesting elections for presidents. All this jealousy grew out of political, you know, uh, 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 jealousy. The mainstream uh, Fulani man who is in the bush does not benefit from anything. But he is suffering as a result of the successes of the politicians who are the Fulanis. The envy the Fulanis are becoming president, they are becoming senators, they are becoming ministers. Somebody who doesn't speak full full day, but when it comes to tribe, he writes Fulani. The statistics that are being taken against the Fulanis and are those who are in the bush, that is just the trouble. That is why these people be become the victim of circumstances. Why the Fulanis are used to moving cattle routes, international cattle routes. Isa Yuguda Excellency have said it. They have been encroached or totally eliminated. Therefore, some of these uh, 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 encroachment into farms are not deliberate. Why they are deliberate, it is a criminal offense and it should be treated as such. But the uh, legitimate, you know, uh, cattle routes that have been allocated since independence or since the colonial masters have all been taken over either deliberately or unknowingly because of the population growth. Therefore, I want to call on the government equally to look at this issue as has been stressed by the Minister of Agriculture. They are almost everywhere, just like the farmers are almost everywhere. Even the initial places that has been tacked, demarcated, gazetted as grazing reserves have been encouraged by farmers. Therefore, this issue needs to be balanced. The issue needs to be balanced. Uh, farming has been getting a lot of support. We have, we have uh, Operation Feed the Nation, we have Green Revolution, we have Fadama 1, Fadama 2, Fadama 3, Fadama 4. We have now Refan, we have Anko Borrowers. All these are crop production, you know, the facilities that have been given to these people. And if we, each time facilitation has been given to farmers, it is encroachment into the bush that is, you know, being supported. Now, nothing has been done to support livestock, yet still, each farmer, whenever he gets a lot of profit, what he buys is the cattle. Therefore, the balance is not there. Balance has to be created by the government. Many of these people in the offices, including the Minister of Agriculture, they own cattle. And yet when it comes to decision making, they don't remember that they have cattle. They only remember the farmers who are visibly everywhere being represented by the elites. But the Fulanis have drawn a line between the educated and the uneducated. They always look at the hardest and they do not belong to the mainstream society. If Buhali can be claimed to be president, I don't know, I, do, I, don't, I can't see any reason 
why other elites who are ministers, who are uh, 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 senators, who are members of the House of Representatives, who are directors in the ministries of various sectors cannot equally, you know, think that they are from this blood of people who are in the bush. There is actually, biologically, scientifically, there is no difference. But people have created artificial boundary between the pastoralist, the cattle herder in the bush, and those technocrats. It is that boundary that has brought about all these difficulties. You see the bush people that are not represented. You don't look at yourself as being the representative of those group of people. This is the problem.